All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And in this lesson, I want to basically just go into how, you know, the, the signs are clear that the end is near. And the reason I say that is because you, everything that you see going on now across uh, America, because, you know, at first, you were seeing things happen across the world, as far as, uh, you know, in Venezuela, you know, famine, uh, the people, you know, other parts of the world, you see people protesting against the government, um, you know, out there in France, there was people have been uh, protesting for, you know, multiple months before this whole coronavirus situation even took place. We've been seeing, you know, chaos or, you know, civil unrest go on in other parts of the world. You know, we always would be speaking on it from our apostles on down, how when it came to America, how bad it would be when those scenarios were, were put in the face of the people out here in Babylon, man, because they never had to deal with things like that. You never had to deal with the um, not being able to just go to the store and buy something that you want or just walking around freely doing your own thing. Now, now we under um, the stay at home, stay at home orders. You know, basically almost like martial law, except they ain't got the the, uh, the the military out here on the streets or whatnot right now. Nonetheless, you see how quickly things can change because things change real fast. Like people losing their jobs, uh, food. Now it's only essential things being sold or p being brought in the stores. Having to wait outside of a grocery store just to get in and you know try to get you something for yourself, and then making laws now. To, that you have to have a mask and gloves on or you're going to be citated you know have a citation a ticket and then if you can't pay that you know you're going to go to jail basically so we already see what he saw is on this is all this is all part of his agenda and you know i'll be keeping up to date watching the the um, white house briefings when trump talk these other these governors talk and the main thing they always say is that we need a way to keep track of uh, people who came into contact with people who have it people who were healed from it and a way to uh, keep all track of all that stuff digitally and they always mention that like everyone says it a digital way to keep track of them and we all know what that digital way is man all right you know out there in china they got the phone how they watch people but really they wanted to get that chip in you because the phone ain't good enough you can just throw your phone away they want to put a chip in you so that you that's something that you ain't gonna just toss that to get off of you it's inside of you you know and they're going to make it mandatory to where you need that to uh, to function within society. And that's the where it's going to ultimately ultimately lead up to. But the first scripture I want to get is in Matthew's twenty fourth chapter, and I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse. Or we'll start at the top, Matthew twenty four and one. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, <coughs> when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world now it's not going to be the whole world that's going to be destroyed it's just going to be the end of this world all right as far as this rulership esau is going to be taken out america is going to be wiped out everything here is going to be done away with all right it's going to be a new world like it goes into in second peter's i believe all right where it speaks about that new world wherein dwell of righteousness now this isn't a whole new world that's being created this is just a new rulership that's being established on earth, man. All right, a kingdom being established through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's going to be a righteous kingdom, and that's going to be an everlasting kingdom. All right. Yet the disciples they asked Yahweh Shai, you know, when was going to be the end of the world and His coming, man? You know, the sign of His coming. When did the sign of His return? And these are the times that um, our forefathers always looked forward to, and we're living in these times now, seeing the things go down that they asked about years back. You know, when it, with the scriptures we're reading, we're seeing these things happen now. We're living in the times that they wanted to live in, you know. 
They wanted to see this happen, the end of the world and the, and the return of Yahweh Shai to come bring back righteousness in the world, man. All right? We're seeing these things happen. But continuing on, it says in verse 4, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Because you got guys out here, man, telling you that it's cool to take vaccines. Basically, it's cool to trust Esau. That's madness, man. You know? The scriptures tell you literally that this is never trust thine enemy. And they're telling you to do the complete opposite. To actually take a vaccine. They're telling you that the, some guys out there telling you, telling you um, either telling you that the mark of the beast isn't the mark of the beast or they're not telling you about it at all. They're not put, putting you on game about how Esau, he has an agenda to take you out, man. Or to destroy our people. And that all these things that's going on is not a coincidence, man. All right, this whole little invisible, the invisible enemy thing is, it's, it's not no invisible enemy, man. All right, Esau is the one who created this drug, who put this, who put the, uh, that, that, uh, that narrative of, so, of the coronavirus just, just to put fear on the people. Now when you walk around, all you see is people all bug the hell out wearing face masks, all right, always spraying on hand sanitizer, doing all type of other bug out shit. But then when somebody else got a flu or a cold and they come into work, Niggas still come to work was hella sick. And they never said nothing about it any other time. But now all of a sudden, it's a big deal if somebody cough or something or sneeze. They just show you how simple the people are, man. You know? Like the scriptures say, the simple believe of every word, but the prudent look well to his going, man. And these people are in America are very simple. They believe every last thing being said about this coronavirus. They believe every last thing that the so-called white man is telling them about this vaccine that he's trying to create which he already has it yet they're believing everything that's being told to them because they're just sheeple man they're they're simple all right sadist children two-thirds of our people man who, who trust in the government and now you're gonna you happy to, and content because trump gave your ass a little twelve hundred dollar check or a little extra bonus on top of that just because you have kids in, um, in a society but continuing on It's verse 4 it says take heed that no man deceive you for many for many shall come in my name saying I am Yahweh Shai and shall deceive many and that's what, exactly what you have going on a lot of guys saying that they coming in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai or they're coming in the name of the Lord when they're really deceiving you man if they're not telling you if whoever is telling you anything they're not telling you the so-called white man is the enemy how he's the mark of the beast is the microchip rfid microchip how america is going to be destroyed everything that's written in the scriptures all right how our people are chosen in yahweh bashim shai and the name of the heavenly father and his son is not god or jesus all right it's yahweh and yahweh shai man they're not telling you all these things they're deceiving you man and they're deceiving many. Many of our people are deceived just because they tell you things that you like to hear, man. They're not telling you about the bad that's coming here. The scriptures tell you that it's nothing but lamentation, mourning, and woe coming to this place, man. So what? What good? The only thing that's good that's coming out of here is this place being destroyed for us. That's good for us. All right. Yeah. The, the masses of our people, what they want to hear that America is going to continue to go on, man. And that's exactly what this nigga Trump is telling everybody. You know, I was watching his brief um, briefing today. When he was addressing the people, he's talking about how America's gonna come come back, be better, be stronger, all this other madness. All right, he's talking big talk, but we already know that that's not gonna. Even if it did happen to where it opens back up, it's not gonna last long, man. And that's just gonna embolden more people in their wickedness, embolden more people in their pride before that destruction comes here, man. All right, but continuing back in the scriptures. Verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And this is exactly what we hear about now. We've been hearing about this, you know, for, for years, about rumors of wars. And that's how this we came came into this year, almost of World War Three, almost starting off in everybody's mind. So we've been hearing about the wars and rumors of wars. It, it, if anything, it's just been intensifying, you know, but the end is not yet. All right, we're we're at the end, but the end is not yet, man. 
like the Apostle Tahar always say, man, that when the micro RFID microchip has to be mandatory and forced upon everybody, man. That scripture has to come to pass where you where you're not able to buy or sell unless you have that, man. And we can see that things are moving towards that. The way that things are looking and going, they're easy, they're like right there, just going right on track, moving towards the RFID chip, man, being implemented and mandated. But continuing on, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And this is the things that you're seeing going on, man. Like I was saying earlier, all right, you, you have famines going on in different countries mm -hmm. across the world. You had uh, earthquakes going on in diverse places. All right? You got and you got pest, real pestilences going on in different parts of the world, but the pestilence is on a real one is on the way here to America, man. It ain't gonna be no made up story, all right. It's gonna be a real one. And he saw he's getting it ready. He got the CDC, he's setting up the 5G. He's he's getting everything prepared for you people, all right. Y'all gonna think everything back good, and then he gonna just start hitting y'all with all type of shit, man. And you ain't gonna know where it came from. Verse 8 says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And that's basically the times that we're in, man. All right. The beginning of sorrows, man. The beginning of see of the end. You know? Because we're at the end, but it's still prophecies that need to happen. So we're at the beginning of the end, man. Alright. The beginning of sorrows. And that's exactly what you see going on. Now you got people protesting and stuff in the streets and all that. Saying that they want to, um, they're they're up, you're you know upset about being told to stay at home, not to come outside. Hey, things are only going to get worse from here, man. All right, like I said, even if things open back up, it's no it's no going back to normal. All right, it's going to be a, a so-called a new norm. And that new norm is going to be more oppression upon you people, more of your rights being taken away from you, and just a lot of a lot of more madness, man. That's why Yahweh Bashimi Shai has to just speed up the times to, to deliver us, man. All right, because things are only going to get continue to get worse from this point on. All right. Hey, that's why I, um, when I started off, I said the signs are clear that the end is near, man. We're seeing all the prophecies happening. All right, the Apostle Tahar deep this year to year of prophecy for a reason, man. And we're seeing the prophecy speaking, as the scriptures say. All right. Hey, so the end is closer than ever, man. So it's just high time to wake out of sleep and just stay on, on you know, on point. In the right, stay in the right mind. Stay watching. All right. And stay in the spirit, man. All right, because the only thing that's going to keep us stable in these times to come is Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Wisdom and knowledge is going to keep us stable in, those, in the times to come, man. All right, having building that relationship with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because it's only going to be you and the Heavenly Father in that day, man. You and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, so with that, I'm gonna wrap up and give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Rakhwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.